Hi, it's Janet from the Wilmette Public Library, and I'm in my closet. Unofficially, I'm hiding from my family. We've been alone together for 40 some days, and I think I need a little bit of time without them. Officially, I am here to tell you about one of my favorite library programs, light painting. It's possible that some of you have tried light painting with me before at the library. And here's a little reminder of how it works. The short version is this. You capture light trails with an iPad in the dark. It looks like this. A slightly longer version is that light painting is something you can do at home with supplies you probably already have on hand. And it's a big experiment in art and design and technology, there are no right answers and pretty much anyone can do it. To get started, you need a tablet or a phone. I think an iPhone or an iPad would work best, um, but there are some apps out there for Android. On um, my iPad, I'm, I like to use Slow Shutter Fast Cam because it's pretty simple to use. You can get started pretty quick. Um, if you have a little more time on your hands, there's one called Slow Shutter Cam that is a little more complicated, but it produces pretty good results. If you have an iPhone and you wanna make videos, you can use an app called Pablo. Oh, look, here's my assistant. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Oh, Are you going to help me with light painting? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's get started. Gather some flashlights, string lights, or light up toys. To add color to a white light, put a balloon over the end of a flashlight. You could also try clear plastic or tissue paper. Have tape, rubber bands, and strings for twirling your lights on hand. Then you need to find yourself a dark place. The world is a dark place right now, and that includes your closet, maybe your bathroom, an attic, your backyard at night. You can do this alone or with a partner. Kids can do it with each other, or you can, if you're a kid, you can try it with a grown up. If I have a partner, I would stand a few feet away from them. One person holds the iPad and one person holds the light. Make sure you communicate with each other. Um, the person with the light should tell the person with the iPad what they're doing. And the person with the iPad should tell the person with the light when they're going to start taking the picture and when they're going to stop. You could also try taking a selfie, doing a break dance, jumping rope. The possibilities are endless. This is me waving a light up toy around in a circle. That's how it looks to the regular eye. And this is what happened when I used the slow shutter cam app. This is me just making kind of random motions with a flashlight And this is the light painting version. This is me trying to make a mask out of light. Mmm, mm, not very effective. This is a small flashlight with a red balloon over the tip. It's also me telling my family that I really do love them, even if I need to get away in the closet every once in a while. See, it's a heart. So go find some light in the darkness and have some fun and take some really cool pictures while you're at it. Bye bye.